Hi friends, UPSC Civil Service Examination Prelims is 5 months away. In this video, I am going to explain briefly uh, what is a good strategy that you can follow in the next 5 months to get uh, good marks in the prelims examination. See, the first thing is you have to select limited material, a standard set of books which you have to revise more number of times. Do not go for more number of material or books in the market because it will only lead to confusion. Second thing is whatever you read, remember that if only you are able to revise it, then only read it. Do not read anything that you think you cannot revise. Now, for example, for polity, generally Lakshmi Kant is enough. You just read Lakshmi Kant some three to four times and then practice more number of objective questions. Similarly, for history, for ancient, for medieval, modern history, art and culture. For ancient, you can follow the old NCRT, R.S. Sharma. For medieval, you can, you can again follow the old NCRT, Satish Chandra. And for modern, the old NCRT, Bipin Chandra, Bipin Chandra or you can go through spectrum, spectrum, modern history. For art and culture, the 12th class NCRT, the new NCRT and introduction to Indian art is generally enough. But if you get more time from Nitin Singhania, you can go through selected parts. Similarly, for geography, if you observe in the last three to four years in geography, they are asking at least two map based questions and that map based questions they are asking from the current affairs. So in the last 10 months, in the last 10 months of the current affairs, you just try to identify the major places that have come in the news. For example, any major places of uh, Afghanistan, Syria, Syria, Iraq, where there is conflict happening or you know, or uh, if there is a news or any famous lakes or seas or hills throughout the world or they will sometimes ask you to arrange the capitals of major countries from west to east, north to south. But they will ask only those, as those things that have come in the current affairs. So go through any current affairs material in that if anything is repeatedly coming in the news, try to mark it on the map. Similarly, for the static part of geography, it is enough if you go through 11th class both NCRTs and 12th class both NCRTs. G. C. Leong complete book is not really required. If you want some two to the chapters on the climate or you know uh, the first three four chapters are enough. Otherwise, these days in the static part of geography, they are not asking more number of questions. For economy, as you know, economy in the last four to five years, mostly they are asking the current affairs, not the static part. You can quickly go through 11th and 12th class NCRT. In 12th class, you can go through only the macroeconomics. That too, do not read the mathematical parts, mathematical chapters. Read the non math chapters of the macroeconomics. And 11th NCRT, you can quickly go through it. Again, though Ramesh Singh is a good book, you no need to go through the, uh, you know, the previous five-year plans and all those uh, the old things. Only go through few chapters which you think are relevant for the current aspect. Even the Sri Ram's economy material also, you can quickly go through it. You can select either, uh, you know, either Ramesh Singh or Sri Ram material, one of these things. Don't try to go through more number of books in the next five months. Similarly, environment, the static part, the 12th class biology, last four chapters are enough. Shankar IAS Academy material is generally relevant, it is good uh, within the present trend of the UPSC. But again, environment, they are most asking from the current affairs. So keep in order. Finally, coming to the current affairs, it is enough if you read current affairs from February 2018 to May 2019. As exam is on May 30th, the last week of the May, Generally, they cannot ask you any question beyond May 20th. You can stop the current affairs, uh, see 2020, February 2019 to May 2020. So, May 20th, 2020, you can stop reading at, at that point. So, around some 13 to 14 months of current affairs are enough. For current affairs, I would like to tell you that, see, in the market, there are a lot of current affairs 
material monthly magazines provided by several institutes not only Sarachan Rice Academy there are many famous institutes which are providing kind of material now you choose any one material which you think is more you know which suits you more where the material the type of matter they are giving you are able to read very easily that one material you you know religiously go through all all the 14 months but after that you can select some two or three other institutes but quickly go through them if you find any point which is not there in your institution's material you underline only those points and go through them so essentially choose any one institute which you like the most go through all 12 months of current affairs religiously from that institute two or three other institutes you quickly go through them to find any new points which are not covered in your institution's current affairs so these things generally would be enough for the civil service prelims examination so once you have gone through this one let me tell you revision plays a key role revision generally what happens is most of the students will try to revise all the things that they have read in the last 10 days of the prelims but last 10 days generally it's difficult for first timers if you already wrote prelims for three to four times then maybe you can revise in the last 10 days otherwise the best strategy is you go for a scientific revision technique maybe every day whatever you have read revise on the same day and every week you keep sunday as the revision day revise all the things that you read in the six days on sunday and every month keep the last two days of the month for revision like that if you revise anything thrice daily weekly and monthly by the time you reach films examination in the last 10 days there would not be much pressure on you and you can freely practice the exams see i told you already read only those books and those material which you think you can revise at least twice before the examination don't go for all the material that, that present in the market see these days these days in the ups examination out of 100 questions mostly 35 to 40 questions only we know perfectly remain 60 questions we have we have to guess actually to clear the examination hence the role of the test series the road test series is definitely definitely predominant in your preparation for the prelims examination now how do you sell test series generally in the market these days there are many new institutes and also old institutes which are giving good test series so my suggestion is if your friends have taken different test series let us say you have three friends each of them have taken different test series you go through go through the question papers see that if any institution is trying to give tough questions to prove their standards please do not take the test series because if you write the examinations having all tough questions your confidence level may fall down and it will not reflect the real upsc examination similarly don't choose in test series which, are, which is too easy don't choose a series in where they are giving focusing more on current affairs or more on static part etc always go for test series where they are trying to make a balance reaching a balance between the static part current affairs easy questions tough questions a right balance and choose such a test series see roughly in the next five months if you write 30 examinations and analyze them it would be enough it would be a really good practice for the real examination remember that no test series is perfect so what test is you choose you know it may go close to upsc but not real upsc even the upsc examination also if you compare the last five years prelims papers of the actual upsc examination none of them are same in 2016 they focused mostly on the current affairs in 2017 again static part is focused similar 2018 and 19 the guesswork the elimination technique has taken the predominance so any test series you choose try to make best use of it see remember whatever test series you take how can you make the best use of it how can you make the best use of it see let us say out of 100 questions in the examination in the test series you know some 30 questions and you have guessed 70 questions 70 questions you have guessed now after the exam is over you open all the 70 questions see among your guesses how many are correct let us say out of 70 questions 30 guesses are correct 40 guesses are wrong now generally what people do is they will only see these 40 wrongs they will think that because these 40 questions are wrong they will try to practice those 40 questions or try to uh, read the solutions understand the concepts but here here is a mistake 
what they have to focus is these 30 questions are also your guesses only in this examination luckily you got them correct but the same question is given in the upsc films examination you may mark it wrongly that is why all 70 questions go through them and also try to analyze why your guesses are correct in the 30 questions and also analyze why your guessing is wrong in this 40 questions like that if you keep on analyzing your own guesses you will understand your strength in, in the in the elimination technique your strength in the guessing and your weakness in the guessing only when once you know how you are able to guess then only in the actual examination you will know what kind of questions you have to guess and what you should not guess also by practicing every examination in this way in this way after every examination if you understand your guessing what is right and wrong by that way only you can learn the elimination technique elimination technique does not come naturally you have to practice more number of examinations and analyze more number of guesses as i told you if you revise only the wrong questions it is the wrong strategy you have to revise even the right questions because i know many people who have written who have answered a question correctly in test series but same question when it came in the ups examination they answered it wrongly now see let us say few questions in test series are wrong means you have marked the wrong answers now don't just read the solution given by the institution but go through the entire concept let us say in the modern history in quitting a moment a question has come and you have marked the wrong answer rather than reading only the solution you quickly go through the entire quitting a moment if you revise all those things like that only then when write 30 exams you would have revised more number of concepts only that will help see one thing one thing i would really stress upon in the present pattern of the upsc is that you please discuss with your friends the elimination i mean for the questions which if your friends have taken the same test series you try to ask them how they have eliminated a particular option similarly you try to compare your elimination technique with your friends in this way within next 5 months you can learn a lot of elimination techniques for example i will tell you some sample questions upsc questions see in this upsc question just read the question the question in this if you know that in the lok sabha if a party does not have a minimum of 75 75 see you know that for recognizing as a leader of opposition you need to have a minimum quorum i mean 10% of the lok sabha members is enough 10% means 55 members so 75 is wrong just because it is wrong the option 3 is wrong so you can cancel all these options you know and the only option left is this one in this way you can eliminate the options eliminate the options similarly see when you talk to your friends this question each of your friends might have guessed in different way see definitely this question nobody will know exact answer means nobody will know about everything everyone most of the friends will guess guess and go to the correct answer now one of my friends told me that generally coffee board or tobacco board of india there the prices are decided by the board not by the cabinet committee of economic affairs now because i know that coffee board of india is there i will eliminate 3 i will eliminate 3 so option is b in this way in this way but means this is one elimination technique if you talk to some other friends they may tell you how they have approached the answer they might approach the answer in a different method like that you discuss with your friends about different elimination techniques for example see in this question in this question one of the students actually guessed the answer in this way see first of all in the patents generally you know creating a seed creating a seed cannot be patented means he has never read about it he never heard about it he even thinks that creating a seed how can you patent it so one is wrong similarly he knows that intellectual property appellate board is there in india see this is one thing which you should already know if you do not know this one the different language is difficult so the student knows that intellectual property appellate board is there in india it is there they are given it's not there hence two is wrong now two is wrong one is his guess he guessed that a seed cannot be patented so based on this one and two the answer is three only three only like that 
see this may not be the only way of guessing the same question can be guessed differently also but this is one technique which you have to keep on improving in the next five months because if you observe last month last year i mean in the 2019 prelims examination this year prelims examination some of the students who have got good ranks in 2018 who have got services to the 19 again failed in the prelims so these days Prelims is becoming most unpredictable. So only a person who, is, who has developed a good guessing ability, good elimination techniques, all those people are able to clear the examination. One more question. See, for example, Agastamalai Biosphere Reserve. Agastamalai is actually on the border of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Kerala. Now, how does options, which of the four Agastamalai? Definitely, you, you need not know everything here. If you know that, see, Sri Venkatesh Wildlife Sanctuary, or Nagarjun Sagar. This is in Andhra Telangana. This is not in the Kerala. So you can cancel it. Similarly, Papikonda, as it is Andhra, it's not, not the option. Satyamangalam, it's in Tamil Nadu, not the option. Hence this is the answer. So you know when you look at a question, look at the options, you no need to be afraid of the options. Though in the options they give you a lot of points, it is enough if you know one or two of those things, if you can uh, eliminate using those one or two known things. So as you practice more exams, you will you will develop your own methods of choosing the answer. Here also, here also one, one wild guess, you know, many students in that year, that year many students what they have done is, just because it is stripe, stripe, stripes will be there for tiger. As stripes are there for tiger, they choose tiger answer. Though it is a very wild guess, Sometimes you may have to go by your intuition. Intuition, it will be correct. But if you think that among the four options, you do not have any idea about it, you do not have any knowledge about it, definitely you have to leave that question. But mostly, out of 100 questions, my opinion is that you have to attend more than 80 questions. If you attend more than 80 questions, you have to guess in this, in this fashion. One more question if you see, see, this is also UPSC question. Here, they said that drastic, there could be a drastic increase in the fungal infection. Generally, just because if you remove butterflies, there cannot be a drastic increase. So, you can eliminate option 2. So, now, based on domain and 2, you have to, you have to understand, you, have, you should be able to intelligently guess the option. In this way, in this way, try to collect more number of elimination techniques or guessing methods. Now, let's, go, let's move on to the I am leaving this question. Even this one also, any any contaminant with heavy metals can be can readily completely treated by the bioremediation. These kind of things generally are wrong because nothing can be completely treated and any contamination cannot be removed. In that way, you can remove the options. Now, see, listen. If you observe in the last five to six years, the pe people who finally get first rank or second rank in the UPSC examination, second UPSC examination. In the prelims, they are just getting 100 to 105 in the prelims. But in the mains, they perform very well and they get the top rank. Which clearly shows that even the toppers do not know more than 40 questions. So in the actual examination out of 100, it is good if you know 40 questions perfectly. But with 40 questions, you can only go to 80 marks. So the remaining 20 marks or 30 marks to get those, uh, those marks, you have to guess 60 questions. So guessing 60 questions plays a major role rather than knowing 40 questions here. So that is why, that is why these days the common uh, technique which most students are using, which you should also use is that out of the four options, if you are able to eliminate any two options among the remaining two, you have to go for the guess because the probability of getting right is 50%. So if you answer say some 20 questions, you answer 20 questions. In 20 questions, if you have, are able to eliminate two options and choose one among the two options, there is a probability that out of 20, 10 will be right, 10 will be wrong. When 10 is right, 10 into 2, 20 marks. 10 wrong, 10 into minus 2 by 3. So it's like 20 by 3. So like almost like 7 marks. 20 minus 7, you are getting 13 positive marks, 13 marks. Okay, even if you do not get 10 correct, even if you get 8 correct, 12 wrong, even then you get positive marks. Even 7 correct, 12 wrong, even then 13 wrong, even then you get positive marks. See, as long as you are crossing 0, getting some positive mark, you have to go for it. So, even in fact, I would suggest you that out of the four options, if you are able to eliminate at least one option, 
out of the remaining three you can choose one answer you can choose one answer as he even here also the probability of getting positive marks is very high but if you are unable to remember any option then you may leave that question that is why practice in 30 exams will help you in these kind of things this kind of things while practice exam itself you try to answer all questions around 90 questions you answer in every exam and try to see how many are right how many are wrong uh, 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 what guess are right what guess are wrong see in any test series for example even at Sarat Chandra IAS Academy we are having our films test series starting from December 28, 28. So, in a test series, they will have their own schedule. December 20, they will have an examination, 25th one examination, 30, so they have one schedule. But here what happens is, let us say, January 7th one examination, January 18th one examination. Now, let us say, December 30th is an examination on economics. And let us say, you are very weak in the economics. Then definitely, 5 days is not enough for you. So, you spend 8 days finish the economics neatly and then write the examination similarly see if you think that a uh, gap is more for you for some examination let us say uh, for let us say 18 this geography examination geography but you can finish geography in three to four days because you are already strong in the geography then put less number of days for geography so please do not go by the schedule of the test series you make you make your own schedule if they give eight days gap for geography if you are strong in geography spend three days only if they give 5 days gap for economics, if you are weak in economics, spend 10 days. Like that, reschedule and then write the examination. Finally, it should be suitable to you. You no need to follow the schedule fixed by some other institution. See, even at Sarat Chandra Ice Academy, we are starting test series from December 20th. We are having 30 examinations. You can write the examination online or offline. But to register it, you have to come to sarachandrayas.com website. There in the first page you can register. There are 18 part tests, 4 full tests and 8 CSAT tests. See, this CSAT test, definitely those engineering students who are good in aptitude, no need to practice. But all the non-math students, they have definitely practiced because in 2015 and 17, there are quite a lot of people who failed in the CSAT paper 2 examination. Now, here we took care that most of the questions, static part and current affairs are well integrated. And we have taken the entire syllabus, even at the subtopic level, even in a schedule, you can go and see our schedule at sarachandrayas.com. In the schedule, at, for every exam, even subtopics also we have mentioned clearly. And we try to we try to put most of the question, uh, questions as per the present UPSC trend, present UPSC pattern of the last six to seven years. See, for every test you take, you will get the instant result and all the rank will be given. And you will have a detailed performance report. Uh, Clearly, they will mention about which are difficult questions, which are easy questions and in difficult questions how you performed, easy questions how you performed and you will get an all under rank and overall you can see which of the easy questions you have failed, difficult questions you are able to answer well. See, we have taken care in our test series that at least 50 to 60 questions we are giving in such a way that nobody knows exact answer, they have to go for the guess. In that way, we all train students in the guessing, in the ability to guess. We try to balance easy and tough questions. In the, in the entire paper, some 20 questions will be easy, some 35 questions are tough, remaining are medium. Just like, you know, UPS examination. And uh, we will be giving only last 12 months of the current affairs. In every exam, two, two, two months or one month of current affairs will be there. <coughs> See, definitely, no, ex no test series will be exactly in the prelims, in UPSC pattern, but we are trying to come close to it. Now, to register for the test series, you can visit our academy website, sarachandra.is.com. You can see the schedule and according to the schedule, there will be a you know, register link, you can register there. Even we have mobile app. In the mobile app also, those who want to write the examinations in the mobile, when they are on the move or in the flexible timings, you can download Sarachandra IS Academy mobile app. In that also, you can write the examination for the online ranking and performance. Okay, friends. Uh, next five months is the most important time for you. Revise everything and select limited material and write more and more exams and make use of every exam and analyze them. Thank you.